Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we start, I just want to give a little shout out to my mum because it's International Mother's Day, also Mother's Day in Hong Kong. So yeah, happy Mother's Day, mum. My friend Tom, he runs ultra marathons and he's, most of the time he does it for fun. So la, a few weeks ago, we thought we'd do something a little bit different. I decided to try to film him doing it. We didn't really plan, you know, uh, he actually did the running. Um, so what happened was we just sort of intercept, we, we plot the route and I found places where I could intercept, uh, intercept him and then do uh, filming from there. We tried to go for a little bit of a cinematic vibe. He actually wrote one of the tracks as well. Um, so enjoy and at the end of that cinematic bit we actually talked a little bit about why he enjoys running. So enjoy. Feel there's a lot kind of going on in the world and often with the internet uh, being surrounded by lots of people who are aware of kind of what's going on around the world it's, it's often quite overwhelming 
So having those moments where you can kind of just t take yourself out of that, to have only your own thoughts, allows you then to kind of focus on the things which are important to you or are pressing to you, but also maybe to kind of get some perspective on things which aren't necessarily impacting you, but maybe you can kind of, you know, be more mindful about other, other things. At what point was it when I kind of found that a marathon wasn't, you know, enough for me and yeah. I kind of wanted to push it? Um, I think it was when I kind of did my first marathon. Um, it was horrendous. I kind of trained really well for it, although my training really just consisted of me watching YouTube videos of other runners who were kind of doing their, you know, ah, oh, 10 things to do before your first marathon. Um, and kind of like gaining kind of like training plans um, but a lot of it was just kind of through actually how is my body feeling when I kind of go through this am I kind of doing too much on my legs do I need to get on a bike do I need to go to the gym and use the cycling machine do I need to do more strength training uh, really it was just a case of just figuring it out slowly building up the miles and saw the bit where it was kind of like this is good I can do it but running for three hours running for two hours doing a half marathon is a long time and mentally it's just like I'm kind of bored I don't really want to be out there running anymore you know I'm tired I'm in pain I'm hungry why am I you know why am I out here and why would I do it so the the goal to do the first marathon was really just to kind of just take that off the bucket list to be like I've done a marathon you know try and do it before you know uh, less than four hours and then that just be a thing um, and really it was only until I kind of completed that first marathon and then within a kind of a couple of days after that marathon just getting back out running again all of a sudden it's like okay that kind of wasn't too bad I didn't kill myself I'm not injured you know let's maybe just kind of like keep pushing it and let's see if I can kind of do a, a greater distance but the ultra running didn't come for a long time until I'd kind of done a, 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 I think I'd done another marathon and at that point of doing that marathon, which equally sucked, it was the Cambridge Outer Boundary Marathon. And it was kind of half on road, half off road. And the final part was off road and it was all uphill and I wasn't wearing trail shoes. And it's just like, again, this sucks. I've been out here for, you know, just, just over three and a half hours. Why am I, why am I still doing this? But then you kind of complete it and it's like, okay, well, let's see if I can kind of push this. Let's sign myself up for an ultra and let's see if I can kind of get further than 26 miles. Let's see what will happen at 26 miles and then beyond. So really it was, yeah, kind of a, 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 trying to discover actually what is past that door. The next race I'm doing is at the end of May and it's the South Downs Ultra 100k. So that's going to be 62 miles running from Arundel kind of castle which is kind of just outside of Brighton and then running along the South Downs all the way to Eastbourne. What would I say to someone looking to kind of get into running where it's 5k, 10k, marathon, ultra um, would be to just invest in a good pair of running shoes. Go get your feet kind of measured and tested and just get a pair of shoes which are going to support you on your journey and that you're not going to injure yourself. Um, and just find like an intention and a purpose for the running, whether it is just to kind of get fit, whether it's just because you need that kind of 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour out from the world just to kind of reflect, you know, things kind of going on. Um, and just, yeah, just do it with a, you know, a good intention. Don't try and do it to please someone else or to prove a point. Otherwise, you know, like with anything, you'll do it for a short period of time and then you'll move on to something else which is fine because a lot of the times we are just trying to figure out what makes us happy. Um, I think, yeah, I figured out that something as simple as running with a good pair of running shoes, you know, fairly cheap running clothes, um, just brings me a lot of happiness because, you know, it just allows me to kind of, yeah, just develop and help me kind of, you know, be a, a better version of myself. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Just hey, fun. if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this video a like. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.